for the month of January 2018. This is a general reading for Leo Sun, Leo Rising, or Leo Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign. You can also join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology, as well as my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash thealchemistastrologer, where you can find on-demand pages for love, finance, and other readings. Your weekly readings will always be free here on YouTube, but if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'm now at patreon.com, the alchemist astrologer, and all of this information is down below in the description box. So, Leo, this first week of January, you're feeling some sense of anxiety. You're worried about something, perhaps to the point where you can't even sleep at night. Uh, it could be that somebody is not well, that they're ill or they're facing surgery. So there's a sense of perhaps some kind of guilt or some kind of extreme stress or depression that you're dealing with. You may feel a sense of hopelessness. Maybe this is a week where you don't even feel good about yourself. But it could just be that these, you know, are unfounded fears, that you're just experiencing a period of doubt. You're imagining the worst case scenario for yourself because there's something that you have in mind. You want your life to play out a particular way and perhaps it's not fulfilling that. Uh, and something is really important to you or someone. And so something surrounding that it's probably not going the way you want to. You're dealing with something challenging and you're having to face some truths, some facts. And right now, maybe it's all you can think about. You've become preoccupied with that and it's working against you. So this is a week to be easy on yourself. Take a little bit of time out, relax, step back from a situation so that you can recharge yourself and gain a better perspective on something. Uh, because whatever's going on in your situation, you may not realize it, but you do have other options available to you. There are things that you're not considering, uh, you know, things that you may have put away, options available to you that you may have dismissed for whatever reason. Maybe, you know, it's difficult for you to humble yourself. Maybe one of these options requires that perhaps you swallow your pride in some way. Or maybe you're just so caught up in your emotions that you can't think clearly and the answer is right in front of you. Or you're feeling as if you can't make certain choices because there's a principle involved and you have to stick to it. Whatever it is, there is another option available to you. Now, some of it could be that you're worried about someone else and this worry about another person suffering is making it very challenging for you not to step in and take over. You want to fight this person's battle or maybe you want them to do something you want them to do. You want them to live a particular way. You want them to make the choices that you would make. But you're going to have to, again, step back and allow this other person the freedom to experience life as they see it. Because, after all, that's why they're here, too. Whether the choice is, well, actually, in my opinion, there really are no right or wrong choices. There are just choices that lead to different experiences. And, you know, as hard as it may be, you may have to come to terms with the fact that a certain person is here to live out a certain experience, even if that's not the choice you would have made. So this is a period where, you know, you may not be very willing to consider other alternatives. And because of that, you stay enslaved to your worries and your sense of anxiety. It could be that you have become obsessed about something, that getting what you want or who you want 
in spite of the consequences, no matter what that price tag is, is not the wisest choice and it's becoming something that's unhealthy for you. Now, for some of you, this is centered around your anxieties about getting some kind of appreciation. Uh, maybe you want to be gratified in some way. There's something that you want or you're, you're worried. Do you want to enjoy life and feel a sense of contentment, a sense of abundance? And that's just not happening. Uh, again, this could be your anxieties caused by holding on to something that perhaps maybe you just need to release. 